so we've got this Tecumseh engine off of a Sears snowblower and it's quite an old snowblower. It's got the tracks on it, which I personally kind of think is really cool and you can go up steps with the tracks and everything and if you've got a big deck or something. Um, but the people that own this snowblower, they haven't done any maintenance of this thing in all these years and it's just starting to act its age. So what I've already done is I take the car carburetor off of here and I'm going to clean up and rebuild the carburetor with a new carb rebuild kit. And uh, But um, I also want to get access to the head. I'm going to take the head off and I'm going to clean up the, uh, the pistons, um, excuse me, the valves, and take a look at what the piston looks like. Uh, because the carburetor was running pretty rough, and it's probably been that way for years, I can only imagine what kind of carbon buildup is in the head there. So... We're going to take this apart today and we're going to get at the head and see what that looks like. First of all, we'll take the throttle off. those screws back in there just so we don't lose them. Now this is where the, uh, the starter was, we've already taken the starter off. This engine actually did start when you pulled it by hand, um, but the starter, when you use the electric starter on it, the starter would squeal a little bit and I didn't seem to want to turn the engine. And I've taken the starter off and I've checked it and it seems to be strong and the teeth aren't worn on it or anything. So, it's my guess that the valves are sticking, uh, or they're just not closing entirely, so it's not releasing the compression the way it should. Anyway, whether that's a problem or not, I still think it's worthwhile to take this engine, open it up, and clean it off a little bit, since it's the first time it's ever been happened. It's, it's ever, <laughs> yeah, it's ever been happened. Uh, first time it's ever had that done to it. So, looks like I get all the bolts out. This should slide right out. There we go. There's the shroud. Let's tuck this down here for a moment. And have to get at this. Well, I see there's a little bit of a jury rigging going on here with the steel plate holding the muffler on. Now it looks like we're going to take these two bolts out, which are actually part of the head bolts. Well, maybe not. That doesn't work well. Alright, 
There's the head. Okay. There's the head. A little bit of buildup on there. We'll get that all cleaned up before we put it back together. Head gasket's in great shape. It didn't even stick. No scraping necessary. There is the piston and the valves. I think all I'm going to do is to uh, take these out, clean them up, uh, relap them, and then put them back in place. To start with, we're going to get the uh, the pipe off here so we can get access to um, the valve springs there.